welcome to my channel. I'm Rhonda and today I am going to take you on a little shopping trip to Dollarama where I looked at the craft aisle where there's yarn and other little trinkets and treasures and we'll see what I found if it was a good day or not such a good day in terms of what was available but before we go I am going to show you yarns that I have purchased previously from Dollarama and my impressions on those yarns and I'm going to show you things that I've made with those yarns. For those yarns that I've worked with I will give you a thumbs up or a thumbs down on the yarn and I will tell you why. So let's start and see what I got. First a while back I picked up this Crafts yarn which is a, a, a yarn that is made for Dollarama. It is called Easy Knit, made in Canada. It is a Promofil cotton blend. The care instructions are hand wash in cold water, do not bleach, lay flat to dry, do not mix colors in same knit, which I don't really understand that, but I believe that these colors can bleed and so they should be washed separately. There is no color name on this um, but the other information I can give you is 70 grams um, and let's see I'm looking for more information and I'm twirling this ball I can't find it in terms of how much yardage there is or meters. Isn't that interesting? How could it not say? I don't see anywhere on this label what the yardage is or the meters because in Canada. So that's not very good. And the other thing that I didn't like about this yarn is that I found the colors were not evenly distributed. It looked like there were some bare spots. Um, and I also found the yarn was very splitty to work with. Uh, if I had an end, I could show you how it splits. Here is one from another skein and you can see how it is just very loosely spun and not really loving this yarn. But what I did make with it, and they're cute, are these Christmas tree ornaments and in spite of the fact that the yarn was not really fun to work with I kind of think that these are cute so although the yarn wasn't great they look nice I like the colors together and I do have some of this yarn left over so with all my other yarns, I'm not really jumping up and down for joy. I'm not motivated to use it, but I don't like to waste. So thumbs down for this one. That's number one. Number two, and I don't have labels for them anymore, but I can tell you they're Lion Brand Home Spun in the regular five in pretty colors. And they used to be available at Dollarama quite a bit haven't I have not seen them for a while but I was purchasing them it was in my earlier days of crocheting and I would try anything would I buy homespun now not really because I'm not a fan but whatever I have left over I'm sure I will find good use for it let me show a few things I made with this yarn Okay, so it's a different color than what I showed you here because I used it, so I have none left, but it is the same yarn. It is Lion Brand Homespun, and I really like this set. I love the color. I used two different shades. As a matter of fact, this one might be that one. And it is very cozy and comfy, and I do like it. I'm not a fan of working with it, so it's not my favorite, but I'm happy with this set. I think it's really cute. I'm going to give you a closer look to the scarf. Okay, so very pretty shades of olive and blue. I really like the colorway. I believe I used a back loop 
double crochet and a single crochet combination in this. It was made a while ago. Very soft, very comfortable against the skin. I made it nice and long in an infinity scarf so it can be doubled up and cozy around the neck um, as I showed you or it could be worn long like this. So that's number one. Okay, so this is set number two with this beautiful scarf that I made with the Lion Brand Homespun with this beautiful lacy finish at the bottom. This hat is made with some olive uh, acrylic yarn that I had in my stash and then I used the same yarn as in the scarf for the hat band and for the edging I did a reverse uh, single crochet for the edge and I made a flower incorporating both yarns with a bead in the center. And I will take them off to give you a closer look, but I want to show you that this scarf is very versatile. It can be worn like this. It can be worn like this. And if I take the hat off, it can even be worn like this. And my hair is in the way, but it can actually cover the mouth because it is so big. I will show you some pictures of the various ways that you can wear this pretty scarf. And as you see, it is shaped very interestingly for a cowl. It's got that little bit of a flare where there's that pretty lacy um, edging here. Really pretty color. And to take a closer look at the hat, it is a cloche hat and you can see how pretty that looks. So the next yarn that I purchased was Lion Brand Homespun Thick and Quick and I have no more skeins of that but I do have the Red Heart Stellar. It is Red Heart's version of, that, of the homespun in the Lion Brand. This is in the colorway Blue Moon. Very, very pretty. It's got sparkles with different shades of blue and nice soft sage green. Very pretty. And I have made a scarf, um, which I have since given away. Beautiful cowl. And I used this, plus I used it in, a, in the trim of the matching hat, which I'll show you a picture. This is considered a super bulky, just like the homespun thick and quick. This is machine wash and dry flat. This is 99% acrylic and 1% other fibers, which is the sparkle in it. I don't know if you can see that, but it's got a very pretty sparkle. Now I made, um, I made a set with the Lion Brand Homespun Thick and Quick. I don't have the skein to show you, but I will show you the set. So this is a very cozy, oversized hat in beautiful shades of mauve and blue with a matching, very cozy cowl. And I will give this yarn a thumbs up for being cozy, but to work with it, a thumbs down. I am not really a fan of working with the homespun yarns or any of that type of yarn like the um, Red Heart Stellar. Uh, it's not something that I would run out and be all excited about buying. But I'll give you a closer look at this hat and this cowl. Okay, so you can see very forgiving with the stitches because it is a fluffy type yarn. Beautiful colors. And this hat is, again, like I said, oversized, but very cozy. And again, with those beautiful colors. I also have an interchangeable scarf, which has a flower and a white bead. And it's a bit longer. It's got the scalloped edge. And also very pretty. The scallop can be at the bottom or at the top. Whichever way, and all made in the homespun thick and quick. Sometimes you can get a lucky find with dollar store yarn. 
This was probably end of line. I only saw two of them, I or three of them, I can't remember. I grabbed it. It is made by Premier Isaac Mizrahi Craft Yarn, and it is in the colorway um, Ambassador. I've shown this on my channel before in one of the videos. It's a medium four weight. It's 90% acrylic, 5% polyamide, 5% metallic. With that gorgeous, gorgeous, colorful sparkle. I just love this yarn. I would consider it a three weight. It does say it's a four medium, but I'm not seeing a four in this. Um, and it is 328 yards or 300 meters. Three and a half ounces, 100 grams. And hand wash, lay flat to dry. Beautiful, beautiful. I haven't seen anything like this since anywhere and I really love it. It does have a bit of a rough area where the sparkles are, but not enough to make it not wearable as a garment. I have added this. I haven't made anything straight up with this, but I have added it to various projects and I just love it. The other lucky find was Red Heart Amour or Amore. Very soft. It is three and a half ounce, 100 grams, 198 yards, 181 meters. It is called Earl Grey. And again, I have shown this in prior videos on my channel. Um, it is four weight and it is 100% polyester, machine wash and dry. And it's a very, very soft yarn. And I've made a beautiful baby sweater with it and it's very, very soft. So that is a thumbs up. And the Isaac Mizrahi thumbs up. Okay, so in my previous video where I talked about the hat that I made with the combination of the ice yarn and this yarn, this dollar store yarn, and uh, a, another acrylic yarn. This is the Speckled Yarn by Knit It, which is a company in Montreal, Quebec, who um, distributes this product to Dollarama exclusively. It is made in China. It is a beautiful roving style, four weight um, acrylic yarn, really pretty with flecks of pink and yellow and blue and green, just beautiful, beautiful yarn. And this is 100% acrylic, 100 grams, 140 meters or 150 yards. It is $4, not every yarn that is in the dollar store is a dollar. It's actually not a dollar. It starts as low as I've seen a dollar twenty-five, and that's the cotton yarn. Not very good, the cotton blend. This is machine wash in warm water. Do not bleach, do not tumble dry, do not iron, and it's dry cleanable. I purchased this yarn on a previous shopping trip. I also purchased it in two other colors. Same yarn. These yarns do not have color names. I call this bubblegum pink with these pretty flecks of it looks like purple and yellow and blue and maybe some green. Really pretty and again very soft and also in gray. And this one has flecks of as you can see pink and like an orange or red color and mint green and royal blue. Very pretty, very, very pretty yarn, very soft yarn. Now it does not say the weight of the yarn, but I think you would agree that it's a four weight, really pretty. So those are the yarns that I've already had from Dollarama and now come with me on my shopping trip and it's gonna be a short one. I wasn't finding a lot that I loved and when we come back, I'm gonna tell you about what it was that I didn't like and I didn't even pick up and the yarns that I purchased.
Okay, I know that shopping trip was a little bit underwhelming. I wasn't seeing much I liked and my filming was mm, thumbs down. <laughs> but, you know, there wasn't much to show and it was hard to shop and film at the same time. So I'm sorry if the the quality of the video wasn't great. I tried to show it as best I could. Uh, there's one yarn that I forgot to tell you about that I had purchased um, in past shopping trips, and that is the Knit It Faux Fur. I find this yarn very similar to Lion Brand Go For Faux. It's very soft. It feels like a bunny rabbit, and I don't know what I'm going to use it for yet, but I had to buy it. It was $4. I don't know what the Lion Brand one is, but I saw it and I bought it. So if you look at this, you can see the fur, the faux fur, and there is a little band. I don't know if you can see that. And that is what will help you when you are crocheting to be able to see your stitches because it does have that band. This, this um, faux fur yarn is 100% polyester, hand wash in warm water, do not bleach, do not tumble dry, do not iron, and it is dry cleanable. It is made in China. And I don't know if I see a color here. It is 53 meters and 100 grams. So although it's not a lot of a lot of yarn, it I don't think you need a lot for this, um, depending on what you're using it for. I guess if you're doing a, a complete amigurumi bunny rabbit, you might need quite a few of them, but I probably wouldn't use it for that, even though it would make a very soft bunny rabbit. So again, that is the Knit It Faux Fur. Very much like Lion Brand Go For Faux. Okay, what did I get on this shopping trip? There wasn't much there, but I picked up a couple of things. I picked up a different color of the faux fur yarn. Um, I had been looking at it in the past and I just didn't think I would need it. But when I saw one left, I thought, you know what? just take it because you never know. So everything is the same as the other one. It's 53 meters, 100 grams, knit it, faux fur. And this one is in this pretty brown color. I can see that perhaps around um, a hat in those nice taupe colors. But honestly, I am not sure what I'm going to do with it yet. If you have any ideas for me, and I only have two of the white and one of the brown, so it's going to be accents. I don't have a lot of it. If you have any ideas, please give me your ideas because I would really value that information. There's only one other yarn that I purchased. I didn't see anything else that I wanted, but I did buy six of them because it is super bulky. And it is this brushed yarn in this beautiful, soft, blue color. I just love it. It's very cozy. It's a roving style, very fuzzy. I'm not really sure how it's going to hold up in the wash, but time will tell. Really nice. It feels great. It was 350 and 100 grams, 50 meters or 54.5 yards, which is why I bought six of them because I thought, oh, what am I going to make? Again, please give me some ideas. And it is 100% acrylic. It is machine wash in warm water. Do not bleach. Do not tumble dry. Do not iron and dry cleanable. And that's it. Six of them. So that was my shopping trip to Dollarama. I find that you have to be lucky. I also find that the prices can be good, but... It doesn't necessarily mean just because it's a dollar store, they're going to be amazing and over the top 
in terms of budget-wise yarn because I've seen some fabulous priced yarns at other stores, whether it be online stores like Aberdeen Wool had an incredible special on your toy box yarn for $2 for 100 grams. Beautiful 100% acrylic yarn. Um, ice yarns, of course, even once you add on the shipping, it's still very reasonable for that yarn. So there are a lot of places that you could choose from to get budget yarn. It doesn't have to be a Dollarama, but it's kind of fun when I go into a Dollarama that I love to look at the craft section. And you saw some of the crafts in there. They didn't have all everything that I like to see in there. I like these little rosettes. I love those. Those are $1.25. I was on the AliExpress website I did order multi colors of these I have never shopped with AliExpress before I believe that I will have my my goodies um, within two weeks because they already cleared customs I'm looking forward to seeing that package and I will share it with you but as you can tell the dollar store did have some things that were interesting but not a fabulous I've seen better selections on other days and other dollaramas so anyways I hope you enjoy that I know you don't all have dollarama where you are but it gives an idea of some yarns and some of the yarns that I reviewed are not just dollarama yarns they're yarns that are lion brand and red heart so you never know what I'm going to find at these places so just Come along and it's always interesting to see.